What we have here is the new ES Waterproof ElectroScan. Uh, it incorporates all the great technology of the ElectroScan ES620, improving technology over there. Uh, now in a smaller, more compact, uh, capable to be uh, handled pressurized uh, water mains, pressurized pipeline systems. And most municipal pipelines, most municipal distribution systems, we're going to enter that pressurized pipeline uh, via either a hydrant, a, a tap, an uh, existing valve, an air release valve, or a hot tap on the main. Uh, we always try to go in through a fire hydrant where we're applicable. Uh, typically, in most cases, what we'll do is shut the valve off to the hydrant branch, uh, remove the remove the hydrant and the, the shear flange at the ground there. Uh, typically, we'll have the municipality remove the head hydrants ahead of us. Uh, we'll install our launcher with uh, watertight glands up here. What the launcher does, it holds the probe inside the tube here. The launcher deploys down into the into the, uh, the hydrant base and has a shoe at the bottom that then kicks the probe out like that. Before we feed it through, uh, we'll turn the water back on, pressurize the line back up, lead off the pressure, lead off the air. Uh, putting water right up to here, holding the pressure back through our glands. We'll then feed the probe through, out to the main. Uh, once we hit the main, the parachute that's attached to the back of here, we get the velocity of the flow in the main. We travel whichever direction in the main uh, we direct it to via, uh, via the flow. We're looking for about one foot per second of velocity to travel down the main or up the main. Uh, the nice thing about water mains is we can control that uh, with hydrants. Uh, so depending on the size of the main, we can attain that one foot per second velocity, as I've already stated. Because water mains are bi-directional, we can go 1,500 feet up one direction, come back, go 1,500 feet up the other direction, and come back, allowing us to do about 3,000 feet from just one entrance into the pipeline. Uh, it travels very easily at that one foot per second velocity because it's got a mutually buoyant tethered cable on here, uh, running fiber optics, transmitting all our data back there. In addition to the probe itself is uh, almost mutually buoyant as well, so it doesn't need a whole lot of flow to make you move that distance through there. The probe, in addition to having the patented electroscan technology through it, also incorporates an HD CCTV camera, some high-intensity LED lights to light up the light up the pipeline, a pressure sensor in the nose too to, to record the, the pressure at the point of defects at the defects that we we find calculate a, a uh, estimated leakage rate for that defect. And additionally, acoustical sensor on the back for uh, benchmarking the old versus new technology along with a, uh, an overlay of the, the data that we find. Once the probes are pulled back, we chlorinate uh, the cable going both in to the main and out of the main. So we chlorinate it both ways, so we're always trying to keep it sterile. The probe is always sterilized, uh, both going into the main, before going to the main, and after coming out of the main as well. Uh, so after all the data is fed back via the fiber optic cable, the uh, computer, it's recorded all on the computer, and then the data, the uh, majority of it, the signals are uploaded, the critical H2O processed and available immediately for, for analysis. Uh, video is then overlaid, subsequently in a post-processing. Hey Mark, what about butterfly valves? How do you navigate through those? That's a great question, man. <laughs> Typically, the, the pipes we're going into, the 4 to 16 inch range, uh, the gale, the, the valves you'll most encounter are going to be gate valves. Uh, butterfly valves don't start appearing until about 16 inch and up pipes. Um, however, I'm sure there are some, they do exist. Typically, what we do is we're looking for. Uh, we're navigating through the pipeline with the camera. So if we do encounter multiple butterfly valves, which should be rare in the pipes that we're transversing here, the distribution pipes, uh, we should be able to navigate at least one or two. So we're 